one of the simplest and perhaps older style drinks available for whiskey is something called the whiskey sour. Now, the whiskey sour is this drink category simply called a, a sour. So you could go into a bar and say, I want a whiskey sour, I want a, bur I want a rye sour, I want a bourbon sour, I want a brandy sour. You can say, I want a tequila sour. You just basically name the spirit and say, I'm wanting a sour of that spirit. And the bartender would know exactly what you want. Uh, we've already seen several cocktails and other episodes already that fit into this model. It's basically a spirit, a sweetening ingredient, and a souring ingredient. So the daiquiri is essentially a rum sour because it's using rum, simple syrup, and lime juice. So that makes it a rum sour, but they call it a daiquiri. In this case, we're going to use bourbon, simple syrup, and lemon juice, plus an ingredient that you never don't really see that much anymore in sours, although in many of the original sours you actually would see it, and that would be the white of an egg. We'll get to that later. So let's start off. Let's do uh, two ounces of bourbon. And then let's do one ounce of simple syrup. Again, originally this cocktail would have been made with sugar perhaps rather than simple syrup. But uh, like I've mentioned earlier, sugar sometimes has a tendency not to dissolve fully and therefore not only to have a hard time controlling exactly how sweet the drink is, but also you end up some grit in the glass. And so I prefer using uh, simple syrup rather than sugar, simple syrup just simply being a pre-dissolved uh, sugar. Uh, now we're going to take and add three quarters of an ounce of fresh lemon juice. Not quite enough in that half of lemon, so we're going to do another one. As I keep trying to point out to you is you should always avoid recipes that simply say the juice of half a lemon, because in this case we wouldn't have had enough lemon juice if we had. And I'm going to add three quarter ounce lemon juice. And now we're going to take and add the egg white. Separate the yolk from the white. Now I could put the entire egg white in there, but I'm thinking that's going to add just a little bit too much egg white. So instead I'm just going to take my bar spoon and try to add just a little bit. It gets kind of difficult. I'm going to do something a little bit further on the unusual side, and that is no ice. Kind of strange watching someone shake a cocktail without the ice, isn't it? Now the reason for that is that what I'm wanting to do is actually create an emulsion. Now emulsions have a hard time when the ingredients are cold, and therefore if I stuck the ice in here, the emulsion wouldn't quite happen. So now I can add the ice, and my scoop went somewhere, so I'll just use the lid of my So now we add the ice to chill the drink down. Vacuum. 
Now we're going to strain it into this glass. I could do this in a rocks glass with ice. I could do this in a glass which is called a sour glass, which looks kind of similar to a squatty wine glass. What I'm using instead here is a glass that's a Pisco sour glass. Now the thing that the egg white did is add that nice foam to the top of it as well as add a more creamy consistency to it as well. Now the, the concept of adding an egg white to making something like a whisker, whiskey sour was so popular that it used to be that when you made up a sour mix that you'd use in your bar, you'd actually add a couple dashes of egg white to that as well, just to add that foamy consistency. Uh, these days with people being concerned about egg whites and raw eggs and stuff like that, there's artificial things that people get, Mr. Frothy and stuff like that, that are basically just a bunch of chemicals that take and try to impart that same level of frothiness. Unfortunately, they also add a flavor to it as well, which I don't care for. So I really avoid any of those chemical things, and I prefer using actual egg whites. Now, people are going to be concerned about salmonella poisoning with egg whites because of all the different scares that have gone on about it. For one thing, the amount of salmonella in eggs is really, really low. There's very little chance that any single egg you pick up will actually have salmonella in it. Add to that the fact that both alcohol and citric acid kill salmonella, both ingredients of which are in this cocktail. And sugar is also something that doesn't promote the growth of salmonella, and it was also taken play a role. So while I'm not a doctor, and neither do I play one on TV, I think everything together kind of de determines the fact that there's extremely little risk that this little bit of egg white would cause a problem. But if you don't want to put the egg white in, don't put the egg white in. If you're concerned about raw eggs, avoid raw eggs, or buy pasteurized eggs. You can actually buy pasteurized egg whites and use that instead. And there we have the whiskey sour.